welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am Black Omen, and we're back for uh, episode f four. Yeah, episode four of Final Fantasy VI Beyond Chaos, The Fallen One. In the last episode, we... Uh, what the hell did we do? We finished up uh, Rimru uh, c uh, scenario. We took on uh, Realm and the rest of the, uh, the Black Mages. Uh, which then we went to uh, went to Kalingan to pick up a Porum, and then uh, we went to Zozo, and now here we are. We are right outside of Zozo. All right, I think I think before we do anything else, we should probably go introduce ourselves to the, uh, the next character, or at least find out who it is. Uh, Ozers have. Why is there? <laughs> why, why is there a cat? Why? Clock? Oh my God! A cat, and his first words to us are "clock." No, we're people. I mistake. <laughs> I mistook you for a clock. Oh my God. <laughs> Aerith looks like a clock. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond Chaos. This is the stupidest thing. This is the stupidest scene I've seen so far. That person dropped it off. And I like that it's capitalized person. Like that cat dropped it off. Ah, uh, that's the That's a that's a cat that belongs to the opera. They named it Impresario. Don't judge a cat by its looks, okay? Because that cat can write an opera. Are you telling me that the cat can write an opera? Of course. My dear... <laughs> this is so stupid. My dear clock, I want you for my collection. Apparently this person collects clocks. It's a clock collector. <laughs> Who is this wandering... What's his name? Were you born on a farm? Who is this? Is that Cloud? Is that... F is that little Cloud? God damn it, it's Cloud. Hi. Hi, Cloud. Welcome to Beyond Chaos. You're a little kid. It's Cloud. <laughs> Set up a meeting with Cloud. Tifa's, Tifa's like, I know that motherfucker from anywhere. Let me just see if we can stop this music. All right, there you go. That's much more tolerable. Not that it was bad or anything. It's just I can only take so much of that. Before we see or get a new character, I'm gonna read uh, their, a little bit of their stats, their bios, shall I? All right, so now we have Setzer, even though he's not in the game, but his slot character is. So he's a gambler. His hometown is unknown. His birthday is February 8th. He is, that makes him an Aquarius. Uh, his blood type is AB, so that's, that's kind of cool. His treasure, of course, is the blackjack. Uh, he likes playing for keeps. His dislike is cowardice. His interest, playing solitaire. Because it's cards, right? I would have thought he would have been more of a fan of strip poker. I'm sure he is when it comes to, to Daryl. He f uh, six. <laughs> Muscle Bill, get me six of those. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm in the right place right now. This is Jador. This is where the rich people are. And I'm spending my money like it's coming out of my ass. Especially we're all little kids with 45,000 gold. Sorry, 43,000 gold. We're in uh, Jador. We are filthy rich, baby. Let's go. Just give me 11 of those. Like, man. Like, can you imagine if you saw that shit in the vanilla game? You'd be like, like, 
you'd be like, oh, you would have a heart attack. You'd be like, ethers? Fuck, give me that. I mean, yeah, we're in Jador, but I don't want to blow, I don't want to, like, blow after everything, you know? I mean, yes, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're children in a candy store, but, like, we're also not, like, monsters. That's how you do. Oh, my God. Pablo! Um, off. Don't off me, dude, please. All right. Oh, no, okay. I don't know what you did, but sure. Ooh. Okay, good. Do it, Aerith. Roll them dice. Go Kill it! Kill it! Do it now! Thank you. Kill that thing before it explodes, man. Boom. Um, is... No, that's a DV's theme. Wait. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it would have said Opera House or something, but it says Rag. Take it. <laughs> All right. Hello, kitty cat. How are you? Can I pet you? I read that letter that Cloud's coming. He'll probably appear sometime after the climax of scene one. Meow, meow. He loves an entrance. <laughs> meow, meow. Is that Chrono's cat? Is that Alphador? No, Alphador is a different color. Use, we'll use you to to lure Cloud. That makes sense. That makes sense. Holy crap! Of course, Cloud and Aerith. It makes perfect sense. Good on you, Beyond Chaos. Good on you. Aerith will be our Cloud. <laughs> These sentences, man, like, what are words? Really? Like, why? <laughs> uh, oh, man, speaking of clocks, I have to go back to the Zozo and uh, figure out that shit. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm, I'm a general, not some opera floozy, and also I'm a little kid. I'm like 10 years old. Ba do 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 boop boop. All right, so who who is our our actors for this time? Last time we had a cat on stage, uh, and I think we also had what? Uh, yeah, we had a cat and. Uh, Someone else, I forget. Dog! Ultros, Ultros, Dog, Yes, Hero. What? Ultros, Dog's great hero, think, thinks of his love clock. What? What? I, I read that sentence about five. Wait, what? Yeah. Ultros, what are you doing? You were just there. But now you're on stage. What? What is happening? I can't. I can't. Oh. Oh, clock. <laughs> Please hear my squid ink all over the stage. How long must I do this? There's two Ultroses. One that's trying to foil. Are they the same? 
They can't be the same. I don't get it. Oh my god. What is happening right now? Okay, so this is let's 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 recap this for a second, okay? We have Ultros on stage singing. We have Ultros, who's also trying to um, mess up the same opera that he is singing in. Which is being which was written by a cat. That is a sentence I never thought I would ever say. I'm still confused about the two ultroses. Ultra, 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 and it's a clock. Wait, what is it? What are you? Oh my god, that 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 is such a weird clock. Ay ay ay, is that you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be on chaos, everyone. <laughs> Rimru, why did you help me back there? I mean, bong. <laughs> no, that's just that. That's that would be too stupid. That would be too stupid. If uh, Aerith just started like doing like tick tock like a clock, you know. Somewhere inside you, we we're saving her, weren't you? You know that uh, those those minute hands really suit you. <laughs> <laughs> I better go better go check the score one more time. Don't tell me what to Oh my god it moves. The the hour hand I'm guessing that's the hour hand? That moves? That is so cool. Good, uh, again, good on you, Beyond Chaos. Good on you for getting like little details like that. That is fucking cool. Um, you know, you know what, Rumru? Don't tell me what to do. I'm inside. Of, I'm inside this clock costume because of you. Okay, and you know, what? and that really ticks me off. And I think it's time that I put my foot down, or at least my hands. Do you have any more clock puns for me before you go out there? No, there's no time. You already used that one. Oh my god. Have I mentioned how much I love this game? <laughs> Alright. The forces of dogs fell and Clock's castle was taken. Robo of cats took its hand, minute hand, or is it the seconds hand? Or is it the hour hand? Who knows? Uh, alas, Ultros. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh, I. Can't you hear my chimes? It is five o'clock somewhere now. Is it time to drink? Or is it time to eat? Only time can tell. Oh, Robo, must I forget you? is like, how do you move in this fucking thing? And now uh, I have to dance with... I have to dance with the squid here? I'm an octopus! Didn't we fight you on the... on the, you know... I mean, I, I personally didn't fight you. So I have no idea who you are. 
<laughs> Wait, are we throwing a bug off the... Off the, uh... The edge here? Is that what we're doing? Statues. That's the oh my god. That's one of the two statues. Holy shit! I I love this game. I fucking love this. This is just brilliant. Uh, I won't age a day. I will wait for you. Spirit of cats. Meow. Oh my god. It's a clock that is embracing the spirit of cats. I'm a clock dancing with a robot. I'm, I'm a clock dancing with a robot. Nothing makes sense anymore. I'm a clock dancing with a robot. Oh my god, because because the cat is so short you can't even see its head. Holy crap. Look, you, you can't even see his head because he's a fucking cat and he's so small. So I have to go chair by chair just to find it. There we go, found it. Survivor as of the dog attack. <laughs> it's this! We're getting everyone in the show. Because nothing makes sense anymore. Wait! Clock. Altros. <laughs> it's, it's Robo. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a duel. Beep, 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 boop, boop. It's a duel. Beep, beep, beep. It's a duel. Oh my god. I love this. And there's Ultros with fire. Okay. That's a thing. So is, is anyone else confused by the fact that Ultros is on stage and also he's off from the Raptors? Does anyone have any explanation for that one? No, I don't. Alright, so basically, we're gonna find out because Ultros is gonna fall onto the stage and they're gonna be like, Wait a minute, there's two Ultroses. Why is there two of them? And then he's gonna be like, My brother? Brother, what are you, what are you, what are you doing here? Uh, I became an opera singer. What are you doing here? Ah, damn it. Oh, don't... Nah. You know what? Oh, uh, God. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Or... You're doing good. No, not really. Okay. Our bio. Hopefully we don't get stuck here. Uh, because some of these animations take a little bit long, you know. But whatever. Take out the thing in the back. 
Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Oh my god, how do how how am I gonna explain this to Ultra? It's a record player. That makes sense. The record player at an opera. That makes perfect sense. Rats! No, not rats, it's fire. Ah! Alright, to anyone who's just joined the stream, allow me to let me you know you know catch you up here. We have Ultros number one over here. We have Ultros or number two over here. We have Aerith, who's dressed up like a clock. We have Robo over here. We have Ness over here. We have a cat who wrote this goddamn opera. And, uh, yeah, that's where we are. So, good luck trying to make sense out of that. It's like, wait a minute, there's two Ultroses. Ultros is like, that's my brother. Uh, hi, brother. Hi. Uh, why are you here? Well, I didn't want to join your life of crime when we did when we were younger. So I became a famous opera singer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Music! Again, I came prepared. So. Toronto, but that's not gonna really matter to him. want you here. Or at least, wait. We were told that your ship is the best. Yeah, and how'd you, how'd you, how'd you learn to drive it? So, again, like, I, I didn't really realize you were much of a gambler. And plus, I thought gambling was illegal for children. Well, let me tell you. When you're in the sky, rules don't apply. Oh my god, I should probably put that on a board somewhere. You know, make a, you know, have that stitch onto a blanket or a pillow or something. You know, when you're in the sky, rules don't apply. I love how it rolls off the tongue. Are you done talking yet? Either Aerith becomes my wife or else... Okay, that's a stupid idea. We're kids. We're not allowed to get married. As I said... When we're in the sky, the rules don't apply. You're more of a creep than I thought you were. Look, we can decide this with a coin toast. If it's heads, you're gonna help us. If it's tails, then I guess we'll get married in the sky. Okay. Ooh, well, that's fine, I sense. Listen to yourself, Aerith. You can't become this person's wife. You can't. Ready? I win. He's like, wait a minute. This coin has identical size. You've been hustled, <laughs> Mr. Cloud. Which is kind of cool, because, like, it's Cloud. He's driving an airship in the sky where clouds are. Sometimes, even though Beyond Chaos is randomized, this shit is done on purpose. I'm sorry, but, like, how can you, like, call that a coincidence? That that some a character 
who is named Cloud, is in the sky. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> uh, before my father passed away in the war, he, he taught me how to fly the airship. Oh, so your father, yeah, he, he knew how to fly airships. He was a pilot. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Rock and roll music is back. Let's go. with this music I can okay so wow we got 26,000 all right so we're gonna need a stunner for uh, for our friend Porum later on um, amulet cure ring I guess we can get like four of those I feel like this this music would be good for like a montage of like all the little kids just going on a shopping spree being like ah damn it a monster in a box Neil it's a crocodile Hi. What's up, dude? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna fight. Damn it! I forgot to equip her! Shit. Alright, let's go. Oh, dude. Nice! Let's go. That was pretty good. Remove all the ultima! Let's go. Yes. Fuck yeah, Rimuru. Goddamn. Took you long enough. Bro, dice. Alright, force armor. Um, Alright, let's be real realistic here. Let's do, like, four. I'm gonna buy 11 of those. Are you kidding me? Usually, in the vanilla game, these two boxes are empty. But because the things are randomized, there's just gonna be shit in them. Bam! Bard's hat. And a soul saver, okay. Alright, I can take that. You know, the more we travel the world, the more I realize that there's more adults than I still alive than I thought. There's one on the side of that house. There's one right there. You know, I'm actually feeling a little bit better knowing that there's more adults around. Yeah, but uh Aerith. Uh, they they we still have to fight. So. Um, do we have to though? Yeah, we do. A Dirk, yes. Light road. <laughs> All the black mages are like having fun. And be like, yeah. Sure, no problem. I'm gonna go see what's up with Granny. Haggy Pell. Oh, Froggy. Nuzzle Bolts. <laughs> Boom. Toronto. Dalton Vector, too? Oh my god, they're doing... No, oh god, no, no. I walked in on... I walked in on adults doing adult things. I'm too young to have seen that. Oh my god. What, what I gotta get out of here? Oh, okay, there's a weapon shop. That's, that's won't have any inappropriate things. Hey, 
kid. And cure. Thanks. But wait, you didn't do anything though. You still didn't do anything. <laughs> Ash is like, you can't be like yelling cure and then not do anything. Hi, Granny. How are you? Wait. Tifa, you know this woman? Yeah. That's my grandmother. Who are you? Granny, it's me, Tifa. Child, you are not my granddaughter. But just for the sake of it, because I know a lot of children lost their parents, I will be your grandmother. Yes! Unofficial grandmother! Granny just rolls her eyes. What can I do for you children? Uh, well, Cloud tells us that you have some juicy gossip. Yeah, I, I'm a gossiper. I like to kind of keep myself in the know. What do you have for us, Granny? Well, before I can tell you, how about if you uh, beat up my real grand, my real grandchildren? Ah! <laughs> okay. Fossil. Thanks. <laughs> Those are my actual grandchildren. You can beat them up and then I'll tell you some juicy gossip. It's Granny's way of making sure you pass the test. Now that I did my job, I'm going to tell you some gossip. Okay. So, you know, you've heard stories about that, about that child known as the Fallen One, right? Yeah? Well, it's true. He is, in fact, has a twin sister that died. Okay, we heard that from him, yes. But what you don't know, children, is that the Empire is responsible for it. Do tell. Well, uh, you know Realm. She, uh, she was jealous of, of his sister, Paolo. Because she was getting all the attention in the Empire. And Realm was so filled with jealousy that she had to do something to make sure that she wasn't a problem anymore. Wow. Granny. That's insane. I know, right? So, but the thing is, the, the, the kid known as the Fallen One doesn't know anything about it. Really? But don't tell him, okay? He needs to find out for himself. But Granny, that having that kind of information is just going to weigh on our souls. And we're only little kids here! Sometimes, sometimes children, when the world becomes the way it is now, you have to learn a lot. I know you're children, but sometimes, you have to grow up. Thanks, Granny. Watch me break dance. Ooh, huh, yeah. Look, I can dance like the young children. No, I think I dance too much. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, old man, no one told you to break dance like that in such a, such a crazy way that, to the point where you made you sick. What is this? This is way better than what I had in the previous seed. So, Trials of Mana. Or is it Secret of Mana? Okay, I'll take it. Japoo! Like weird little fish thing. There. I don't know. That kind of looks like a like bargain basement, like garland or some shit. Slice. Nice. Nice. Ash learned Exo.
crazy bass line there. Uh, Pearl Lance. Ah! Proto Armor. You're a dragon. You're not Proto Armor. Starlet. S Fairy. Oh, now S Med. <laughs> Fifteen hundred gold. Yeah, nice. And a ribbon. get kind of worried that like we're gonna have to like, do RS burn and one of them is going to be Crusader I guarantee you it's going to happen but I just get that like that moment where I'm like oh no this is just gonna be it shell safe and scan we got a bunch of guys here all right cool no damn it go back go back and you take a hike No complaints, but just don't get Crusader. Okay, that's all I ask. Damn it, he came from it. But that won't be a problem. That's some funky ass bass line. Yeah, pretty killer. S Fairy. I hope that the S doesn't stand for shit. I don't want to be, uh, Shit fairy here. Bahamas. Be hams. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of going to say that better kill it. Alright. Rim room or X zone. Alright. That's cool. Ah! Curtain. Oh. Extreme. Please, no. Blizzard! Combine the tags and make them to extreme blizzard. Extreme! Good job, Ash. I, I don't think I really want to know what extreme you got from your planet here, you, you crazy ass stars. Ah. Take your ass back to Geno, man. Woo! Hey! Shiva! Oh, you're not Shiva, you're like... I don't even know what the hell you are. <laughs> Roll that... Oh, oh. Oh, that was a good one. Just in case you decide to live through that, I had an R Esper waiting for you. Ah! What the hell? You got here to go some dude with like a fucking goat head on his head. Oh my god, okay. Oh, it's Seraphim, okay. So it's gonna be Shiva and Seraphim. That's cool. No, Seraphim. Alright, what? Alright, well, let me grab the other one and then we'll find out what they, what they both do. Alright, what do they do? So Shiva does Ice 3, Haste 2, and Imp. Not really far off from, uh, um, yeah, Ramu teaches Ice 3, Float, Imp, and Haste 2. Imp, 
Yeah, it's basically like same thing as Ramu, but with one less spell. That's highly disappointing. His imp is learned at one time. Shiva is dead two times. Cool. Maybe Seraphim will be something better. Merton! Fuck. Oh, blossom. But no butter. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to collect all the power from girls. Hey, you. Green hair, dude. Number 24. Ah! Twin rip. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Twin rip, and it, like, creates, like, a copy version of them. Do it. And if that motherfucker tries to live through it, I got it. Alright, that's what we're waiting for. Flash rain. Okay, that's not too bad. Bismarck! I'm gonna hit this son of a bitch with a flare. Okay, water gains from it. I'm gonna see if, it, if I should... Oh, am I kidding? I'm throwing dice, man. Unless we're throwing dice! Or not. <laughs> oh, man. It sucks that the only, the next time I get, uh, Porum back in my, my party, it's a rather short time, but I know that the next, the next best time, like the, the floating cotton is going to be the best time, is like the last good time I get to have them before, you know, uh, having to, uh, have to find them at the, uh, World of Ruin. Uh, ooh, there's a treasure over there, though. Force armor, hell yeah. Here we go, this is what I was thinking of. I knew I wasn't crazy. Oh man, we're gonna be losing Aerith. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Well, the only the upside to that is that if I unequip her before the whole scene, I can give someone... I can give someone the merit award and then have them use the uh, the, the offering and the, and the dice. So not a complete and total total loss, you know. Key worry. Oh. Now you're dead crabs. Boom. I think I, was, I said, I think I was saying in the last episode that uh, the out the the prospects of uh, getting our uh, our it, our mime character. When we get our mime character. We're gonna have technically be able to have two characters with uh, um, the fallen one. So, uh, Realm Kefka is going to have a really hard time with not one but two people who can do Fallen One, you know? Because I know with Beyond Chaos, there's two forms of Kefka. You fight the first version, then after you clear out that one, the other one like, just kind of just falls down. And you fight that one, so, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. What are you doing here? Oh man, there's more adults. I'm starting to think that whole adult, like, wiped out thing was just a lie. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Those, you turn them into magicites. You do, you're wearing like a giant pink condom looking thing. It's a, it's a hood, a jacket. Why is it so hard for people to understand? I remember with T Edition that um, I remember getting all the Magicite and then being like, all right, we got six. And then being like, wait a minute, we only have like three or four. And then like you find out that they're out there because somebody else has them. <laughs> so that's it, Magicite. Sid, you miserable blockhead. 
You're a funny duddy. Oh, hello, General Aerith. The game's over. Bring me those Magicite shards. I'm trying not to twist Kefka's voice into my realm. My realm character here. <laughs> Aerith, you deceived me. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, she tricked you all. That is so you. I kind of feel like... I know this would be really difficult to pull off. But, like, either A, depending on what sprite uh, Kefka, you know, turns in, turns into, they should be able to rename him. So, like, kind of like an auto, you know, changing of the name. Or B, give you the chance to rename that character, you know? That would be kind of fun. Because, like, yes, um, Kefka... I mean, Realm is technically Kefka in this uh, in this seed, so calling him Kefka is not really like, no, like really helpful. It's just a, it's a weird visual. So like, you should they should give you like the the chance to like rename him, all depending on who the character is, or make it auto. You know, same thing with Leo. Same thing with Bannon. Like you should be able to rename those 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 guys. Have I done? Well, Sid, let me start by explaining what you did. Okay, I know we're little kids, but check this out. You created a monster, and now your monster is biting back at you. You know, you didn't have to put it in such a harsh way. Uh, we're. There's not that many adults left in this world. We have to deliver it to you in in a way that you can understand. Herb. Oh, man! Can I? Guys, can I, can I please catch him? No, Ash, please. This is not the time for that. Please, can I just catch one? No, Ash. Oh, you guys don't never have me have any fun. All we get to do is watch Aerith and now Tifa throw dice at these creatures. like a very superhero esque vibe to it. Like it's like bum, ba, da, 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 da. or something like that. I don't know. Three gold helmets and oh a striker! I'm keeping that shit man. Sorry Saban. <laughs> we have to hurt Duncan for you. Alright. Roll the dice. But she's the one that has the dice, so kind of uh, kind of stuck right now. <laughs> ah! And that was probably Phoebe. He's like, oh no! <laughs> like all the other ones are like like legit black mages, and that one was Phoebe being like, hey guys, look what I found! Oh, no! Like what exactly? Is the point of these cranes exactly? Because they're very, very niche situations where having cranes that like move back and forth, you know, it's like 
Unless they shoot lasers or some shit, I don't see them being really helpful for, like, the Empire. Unless they're construction related, like, I doubt it. Hey, uh, guys, what the hell is that thing? Looks like a crane. Looks like two cranes. Let's rock and roll. Fire! Why did I sound so surprised? Um, okay. Cloud, what do you got? Okay. Oh, oh okay. Cloud has our bless... De question mark death and item. Okay. This should be interesting. Let's do our bless. Why the hell not? That wall change. What's our weakness now? Singer? What the fuck was that? I'm relatively confused right now. Be sir. Oh, he's got a sniper. Okay, not too bad. Rage damage. Oh. Now he's been imps, I guess? Great. Discord. Level his head. Okay. So the other one just fucking disappeared. Basically, be like, you're on your own, dude. That was weird. <laughs> and that's the thing I what I like about Beyond Chaos is that like the enemies are not getting uh, they don't get like ran like the they don't get just just like randomize the spray where they keep their ability. They are going to get, like, anything and everything. Mid? Who's that? I'll explain on the way. For it all, I was raised in the Esper world. Hey, Mid. We're back. We brought a stranger with us. Who? Who are you? What are those? Oh, those are magicite shards. What the hell is that? Just watch, Cloud. Just watch. Father? I remember the creatures out of our realm. Does that include... No. She's staying here. See, I like it how in um, in T edition you can you can literally go to the the Esper world. You get to like interact with the Espers. You can um, they even have shops there. Which for the life of me, I don't I don't really get that concept because like the Espers are magical. They do magic. Yet they're like, we have swords and shields and shit, you guys. <laughs> ah! Just when we were about to reach a veritable, veritable bonanza. Wow. <laughs> I guess Emperor Gestalt is like, man, that, that word of the day count is really paying off. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not their friend. I get that. Take me back. Sure. Ah, mid. Ah. You will own this world. <sighs> and that is what it's like when when uh, uh mid's mother's vagina closes. It's like, oh, I'm kidding about that part. But again, everything else is true, though. We still didn't have to hear about the sex part. You could really have left that part out. So, like, in this world, instead of the birds and the bees, they had, like, the espers and the humans? Like... like 
you give your child the talk using espers and and humans, like, I don't know. It's one day, you're going to meet someone, and you're going to want to dance with them and have all those little sparkly things come out. How do you make the sparklies come out? You're too young to know that. All right? All right. No. Teach me how to land it. I'm kidding. I know how to land this thing. I've been doing it for over 30 years. Well, let's see. Now she got something. Is that really a fair assessment, though? Since 1994. So, 2012, 2002. One, two, three, seven, six. Yeah, we're only about like 28 years. So, over 25 years. No! Land it! Save it. And then, now that I think about it, I probably should save. I should tempt first, then save it. <sighs> oh, what kind of stuff do you have anyway? Uh, so. 12-20-30. See, check the readme file, kids. You're gonna learn something. 12-20. Okay. <laughs> I was like, am I gonna really have to go through this? But I was like, you know what? Let me just check and see if the, uh... See if the thing really does tell you. Okay, question mark death. Let's do this. Cloud, you have our bless question mark death and item. So you don't have a magic ability right now. Uh, you can you use uh, you can have some interesting stuff there, you know. But quite frankly, you're not really. I mean, I guess if you're here, I might as well, you know. Oh, by the way, what are his stats? I want to know about that. Let's uh, take a look at that. Alright, so his vigor is 40, speed is 42, stamina and magic power is 36. I mean, that's not too bad. He's a little bit above average. So, you're, you're not terrible, Cloud. Okay, I'll give you that. Just don't let it go to your head. Alright, um... See if you can try to figure it out, you know. Roulette? Oh god. I'm like, please don't. Please don't. Hey, my roulette. Okay. <laughs> Even the thing was like, please don't do it! Please don't do it. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, Alright, let's see. Number one. Let's roll. And, uh... Oh, please don't. Who got hit? Damn it, Ash! Give it a try, man. Okay. Flare. Do it. No, it worked. Blaster! Hold on. 
better idea. Throw some dice at this motherfucker. Thank you. Thank you. And we're about to die together. Words. Level 5 Doom. Alright. Alright. Clearly, we're not ready for that one quite yet. So. Alright, fuck it. Let's just head back to Narsh. That was bullshit, man. I have three. Three of these motherfuckers to deal with. Before the, uh, of the, the world of ruin, I'm not letting those fuckers go. You know what I'm saying? So I thought we were gonna rely on the adults to do this to help us out. No, it's that. No, the plan. The plan is that we're going to have the espers help us out. So espers and children. Look, I understand your frustration, but as the adults. We have to be the ones to back up you guys. But shouldn't that shouldn't you be doing that naturally? Not asking Espers to help, for help? Fine, we will go we will go ask the Espers for help. I mean yes, granted they have offered to help by uh, turning themselves into magicite and teaching us let us teach him spells. That's good. I understand. Fuck. Oh, fish. Fuck. Well, that sucks. Oh, fish. Damn it. Can you do anything else? <laughs> yeah, just like, screw this, I'm jumping. Fuck, it wasn't enough. Don't I have a black belt on you? You're supposed to, like, respond to that, Tifa. That was a shit roll. Blowfish! Damn it! Stone! Okay. You'll never get... Oh, red jacket. How many of those do I have? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm contemplating, like, wait, should I get the... Should I get it over, uh... Over the on onion knight here? I'm just looking for the hell Armor. I got six red jackets. I think I'm okay. Generic as I can. I'll call you Onion. That old psycho Ramu came to me in a dream and told me he was expecting you. And I'm gonna join your party. Yeah. Okay. Switch out our party at least. As I said, we're gonna put a pin in that episode. We accomplished quite a few things. Um, we got uh, we got Cloud. We got the airship. We got our new character, the uh, the Onion Knight. Which, by the way, since we have that, before we go, I'm gonna read a little excerpt. Mog's character. Here we go. So Mog, he let's just to kind of show you. Like it's Mog. So Mog is a Moogle. He's from Narsh. Duh. His birthday. Well, he's 11 years old. Uh, his birthday is May 11th, which makes which makes him a Taurus. His, his blood type, everyone say it with me, black-footed duck type. For those who played T-Edition, you would know. 
His treasure is a crystal charm given to him by his lover, Mulu. 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 Which, if you remember from T edition, it's not the Moogle charm, it's Mulu's charm. Ah. Oh. Which goes to show you that Mog can bag another Moogle. What he likes is people who pet him. His dislikes, people who touch his tail. And his interests are singing and dancing. Hey, whoa, don't move. Don't, stop, stop moving. Sorry. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. This episode was a lot of fun. Um, I'm starting to think I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit that uh, that 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 sweet spot of 12 episodes. Because <sighs> I, I don't know. I'm thinking the rate may be a little bit longer. But hey, you know what? If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to, to kind of just kind of see if I can nail 12 episodes of, uh, of Beyond Chaos. But you know what? It is what it is. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you uh, want to catch a, a stream, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Chris Reed. Um, I'm also on Twitter as well. You can catch me there at Black Omen 10. Uh, so until then, you guys, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.